For years, Australia's best footballers have made their presence felt across Europe, but few have had an impact on Germany's Bundesliga quite like Robbie Cruz. I think the best example for, for uh, making a ranking is that uh, he is uh, the player in the, in the German, in the first league, in the Bundesliga, uh, who is almost uh, mostly fouled uh, above Franck Ribéry or something like, like this, or Marco Reus or Mario Goetz. So that says everything. Almost every situation that Fortuna uh, creates in their own offense uh, works with him. Uh, when he's not on the pitch, like in Schalke, Nothing happens in the offense. He feels good in this club and he plays good. And uh, it's always important to get the acceptance of the other players. And if you play good and if you make goals and the team has success, uh, uh, the acceptance will be there for the player. At Fortuna Dusseldorf, Cruz has been instrumental in ensuring his team continually meets the challenge of super clubs Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund week to week. It's, you know, it's a privilege and honour to, to be able to play in this stadium and, and against, against great players in such a great league every week. You know, I feel I'm improving every time and you know, I'm doing it in one of the best leagues in the world. So it's, um, it's been a massive learning curve, but something I'm enjoying. Only a few years earlier, however, the now blossoming career of one of Australia's best and brightest reached a pivotal juncture. Troubled by off-field issues, Cruz's immediate impact on the Hyundai A-League looked headed for a dead end. His first professional coach saw it as part of Cruz's evolution as a professional. You've got to make mistakes and you, you learn from them. And, you know, we've all been through it. Um, you know, I went through it when I was his age and uh, that was normal. You know, he was, he was a young kid. You know, I went through some, you know, difficult times, but I mean, I think all, all young, young people or, or people in their lives at some point go through a difficult stage. You know, he just needed to get his head right and, and realise what it, what it took or what it takes to be a professional footballer full time. And oh, I think Robbie's done that. I think the main thing is now I, I definitely wouldn't, well, put, put my, my career in jeopardy like that again. And, you know, it makes me really realise how lucky I am to be able to do what I do. The turnaround since Cruz's move to the Melbourne Victory in 2009 and then to Dusseldorf has been astonishing. With 21 Qantas Socceroo caps to boast and a growing reputation as one of the Bundesliga's premier attackers, as it stands, the career of Australia's number 10 knows no bounds. Here in Dusseldorf, everybody loves him. It would be great to see him one more year here and then he can leave Dortmund, Schalke, whatever he wants. I, I think he can play for Dortmund or something like that. Yeah, it feels good when you when you hear this kind of stuff from, from other people or, or from other clubs. You know, it's an exciting time for me now and you know, I've got dreams to, to keep getting better and better and, and maybe progressing eventually to other clubs. So whether that happens at the end of this season or, or, or 2014, or, you know, as long as I'm playing and performing, and it gives me a great chance to, to be playing every time we play for the national team as well. Indeed, exciting times ahead for the player, but also for the Qantas Socceroos, who could provide the 24-year-old with the next big stage of his journey, Brazil, in 2014. Robbie's on a good path at the moment. He's got to have that, that desire and that you know, desperation to play for the national team. And I think, he, well, I know he's definitely got that. You know, I can, I can see him going on to being a, you know, a regular and a, an important cog in the national team. I feel I did a, you know, a long period where I was adjusting to the squad and, and obviously uh, you know, I have massive thanks to Holger because he, you know, he's given a lot of faith in me, particularly even last season when I wasn't playing here. He, he continually chose me and, and believed in me and now it's uh, you know, starting to reap benefits now for me and my club and you know, for country as well. Hopefully I can you know, keep playing and doing my part to help the team and, and the country make it to the next World Cup.